So having spent a few days in the SEM or an afternoon in the SEM doing quantitative uh, analysis, so chemical analysis using beam measurements on cobalt and um, using secondary standards to verify your accuracy, it's extremely important that you export your chemical data for your samples uh, at the point of acquisition. You don't want to be leaving this weeks after you've actually acquired your data. And I'm just going to run through exactly what you need to do to make sure the data that you export out to Excel is in the correct format. So you can see here I have a session uh, where if I come to the project data, to the data tree, I have a bunch of different analyses uh, of Kleiner peroxines. What I'm going to do is just show you for one of these sites how I would export the data. So I select the spectra I want to view in the calculate composition part of the software. I'm in the summary table for multiple spectra and if I click on the top one, press shift, I click on the bottom, I select all and I add selected spectra. I then get a list of all the chemical data for these spectra and the first thing I need to do is to check that my settings are correct. So this is Kleiner peroxine. Uh, for most silicates, instead of measuring oxygen, we balance it by stoichiometry. So we measure the cations and we balance oxygen by their charge of the cations. So we're going to do that in this case. We don't want to normalize the results because let's just assume this is fully quantitative data and we, we don't want to normalize the results to 100 because we've measured them accurately and precisely based on standards and measuring our beam current. Uh, we do want to deconvolve carbon because we've coated with carbon. And then the next really important thing you need to do is to select the standardization that you use. So during your analytical session, and this is why it's really important to do it at the point of acquisition rather than in data processing. The, you know, when you're on the acquisition computer, you will have an active standardization. Let's say in this case it was quant standardizations, Feb 13th. It's really important that that is selected because we apply that to the data to make sure our numbers that come out are accurate and that they're based on the secondary standards that we analyzed. So having done that, you can see for these peroxines, I'm not actually using the correct standardization, so my total is a bit low. If you are measuring peroxine with your standardization, uh, having just done the beam measurements on the acquisition computer, your totals for peroxine should be around about 100%, plus or minus 1, 1.5%. The other really important thing is that in acquire spectra, in the settings, the pulse pileup correction is, is selected. We've had problems in the past where people have deselected this, uh, and that can cause issues with your quant data. So make sure that pulse pileup correction is corrected before you export your data. Once you've ensured that pulse pileup correction is on and that you've got your settings correct, so with oxygen by stoichi stoichiometry that we don't normalize the results and that we have the correct standardization selected. I always press requantify before I export just to make sure Aztec is updated. And then it's as simple as selecting the uh, top spectrum, shift, select the bottom. You can copy the data and then we can open Excel and just paste it into it basically. And you would do that for all of your spectra in this case. So uh, the easiest way to do this is to add all your spectra at the very beginning. As I said, it's recommended to do this at the point of acquisition rather than uh, the next day because you never know if someone's going to mess around with your standardization when, without you knowing by accident. So let's say we've added all our spectra, then we can just click on it. Control and A will select all as well. Uh, we requantify before we copy. I'm going to select them again copy them out and then it would be a case of going to Excel which I don't know where it is on this computer but copy it into Excel and that's that done.